your name, Jesu Das, we will call you Jesu, sounds Christian. Yes. And uh, you said you carried your Bible to church and uh, yes. you in church. With all this, in the good Christian home, you said you were on drugs and chemicals and other things, hard drugs. How is it possible? What happened? <laughs> it's a fit. We can't just say anything. Uh, uh. They say it's peer group pressure. They say it's uh, friends. So mm. Some unfulfilled emotional desire. Some, mm. some take it as a fashion. You know. mm. uh, and slowly you start losing that respect and that uh, love for your faith. Mm. Mm. You become a pseudo, mm. like Sunny Matthews always says. Mm. Mm. So I was a pseudo before he accepted uh, Jesus and became a Christian. But while you were growing up, you had a lot of friends, you were quite popular, everybody wanted you around. Uh, do you think that is one of the reasons that you also drifted away? See, we, we can't pinpoint ah. how it all starts. Mm. It's just the first drag, no? Mm. Like I told you, even before joining Christian College, I had a small group of friends, Sanjeev Mukherjee, Sham, and those guys used to smoke a hookah, the terrace, you know, what's a hookah, mm. to put the weed inside and the sprinkle chemicals, and smoke. it's kind of fad, kind of. And like I was telling you, you know, many people start drugs to they think you become bold, okay? Even I had that uh, inferiority complex. I used to be very shy to talk to anybody or, uh, you know, I didn't have that flow. So, that could be one of the reasons, to come out of your shell, okay? There's nobody can really pinpoint and say why you started. How did your family handle this question? Well, uh, for a long time, they didn't know mm. until one day I left some ganja packet and uh, cigarettes and everything in my jeans. And my mom put it for a walk. The servant came and told my mom, Our boy is smoking ganja, madam, you go mad. And daddy came and told him, My name was Ganji. She told my mother, He may go mad one day, you should not smoke this. And then my mother started cutting the pocket money and she called my sisters into confidence. And I had a discussion and, uh, and some beer bottles were there at home. I used to always keep it, it looks nice, kind of. She said, your son will grow mad, yeah. go mad. But then they also put you in a mental hospital. So you were in the mental hospital for some time? Quite some time. I oh. escaped from there uh. because I didn't like the atmosphere there. Uh -huh. Because mostly, most of the people were mad there. I don't know, they're born that way. Okay. Some of them. But you were not? I was not. Okay. I was never mad. So when you saw your friends who studied with you and have gone ahead of you, did you feel anything, regrets in life? See, they are all gone ahead of me and see as you. No. To be very frank, I know my own self. No. Mm. I know this could be the reason, maybe. Mm. Mm. And moreover, they never had these habits, most of them who are doing well. They're mm. never into ganja and all these things. Mm. See, 90% uh, of the college friends I meet 10 years, 20 years, 30 years later, they tell me this was all just in college. Mm. So after that, we left it. After that, day we left college, we stopped it. Mm. But you're just still continuing it. Why? Mm. Just the passion. No? Mm. Like I think for a couple of years we met, uh, I, used to, I was telling you. Mm. I haven't smoked for a long time, but even now if I get a puff, I feel very happy. It's mm. just nature. Mm. See, that's why the program also says, once an addict, always an addict. That's why you have to leave and go clean in a secluded place. So in order to give up everything, what are some of the factors you need? You need a program first. Okay. First you have to understand okay. what's what. Mm. What are these things doing to you? Mind-altering drugs. Mm. What it does to you? Mm. You have to sit and write your reflection. Mm. How you started on day one. First you bought one packet. Then why did you buy ten packets? First you started with a dot. Why did you start buying grams of it? 
First you chase a little bit. Why you go on doing it? Mm. You have to think to yourself. Mm. And that's it. You need a higher power. When God. you say higher power, higher power, are you talking about Jesus Christ, the Lord? Definitely. Is that you? Definitely. Mm. Jesus says. So mm. I kneel down and pray sometimes, cry. Mm. Why do you I'm cry? a God of miracles. Why do you cry? It just comes spontaneously nowadays. Ah. When my dad died, I didn't cry. Mm. When my mom died, I died, I didn't cry. Mm. But somehow later on in life, uh, because that time I was on it, mm. I used to never call my sisters Akka. I used to call them by name only. Today, when I speak to them, I say Akka, 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 so many times in the course of my conversation. So these things rob you of your relationship? Absolutely. And kills your emotion? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. That's the main reason why you take this. They want to kill those emotions, very beautifully you said. Mm. Kill those emotions. Mm. Burn those emotions to be more precise because mm. we smoke it over. Mm. See, now, nowadays they're doing it differently. You're snorting because it's straight the central nervous system, no? Mm. The brain. Mm. And brain damage. Mm. That's it. Insanity. Now you are 63 years old, yes. Yes. And the prime of life you lost. Absolutely. The Lord has given you a second chance. Sure thing. What is it that you want to do now? With all your experience, your regrets in life, now that you realize you are drawing closer to God, what is it that you want to do for Him? What is it I want to do for Him? I should first become stronger. But uh, I think the tenth step of the program is very important. It says, take this message to others. What should the family do? See, my own counsellor has always told me and Father Desi also has told me that you have very strained family relationship. Because everyone's parents and loved ones used to come and see them regularly. Mm. But he also searched for me, mental loss, he never found me. They hated me mm. because I was doing all this at home, beating up my mother, robbing all the things from there, not giving the house. So they also have a say in the matter, no? So they were jealous, the hatred on me. Mm. So. Strained family relationship, mm. generation gap mm. between my mom and me, the age difference between my dad's lifestyle and mine, the, the sisters, you know, uh, in uh, government service and uh, other places. And I was never close to anybody in my family except my dad. Mm. But he was never at home at all. He was a serviceman and always he'll be retouring. I'll go three, six, five days in a year, only five, six times for each year. Only later, when he retired from that uh, Fiat company, he took up a job in TVS. He was doing a uh, marine division, going out to sea and going to Sri Lanka, Karachi, here, there. That time, I got to see little of him. But he told me once very clearly, because he knows the world, if you smoke this weed, you will be a beggar. You will be begging. And did he do it? Naturally. Mm. Mm. Naturally, you beg mm. to your uh, friends. Mm. Begging means not sitting on the streets and uh, asking for arms and uh, doing that. I had some little self-esteem left. But like asking friends, mother, give me 10 bucks, give me 100 bucks, give me 1000 bucks. Hey, keep on doing. That's also begging only, no? Mm. Borrowing is uh, also like begging only, no? Mm. Please give me mata, I need desperately some money. We can't continue, it's like begging. Now See, you, you, you will also beg for yeah. various other reasons. Mm. You can't fight back. Mm. Guilty feeling will be there. Mm. You scared. Hey, does this guy know whether I'm on drugs? So you have that guilt complex. No? Mm. So you want to be confident. Now you said your dad was traveling and you missed dad, saw him on three of us. Do you think that was... Um, the absence of dad, parents in the important stages of your life also adds to this? Absolutely. I always think that. See, most of the parents groom them, mm. their child. Mm. Okay, dad is a man of the house, the boss of the house, and mm. uh, you need his mm. advice. You need his uh, help mm. for various things mm. in life. Mm. Somebody you can look up to, but... That is one of the very important questions you're asking me. That was a very big negative thing for me. Mm. Mm. Being in the midst of uh, five mm. people from the feminine gender, mom mm. and four sisters, uh, they were with me all the time at home. Mm. Right? So it was kind of a complex. Mm. 
Another thing, my father was very angry with me most of the time because I was not studying well, though. So he used to always uh, shout at me. My mother was also very strict with me, very tough with me. Mm. So maybe these are reasons why people take to drugs. That's what this is strange family relationship. Okay. Now that you are out of it, yeah, as we have the freedom to go and visit your family, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are they with you now, the family? Very cordial now. They are very happy meeting me. They are very happy talking to me. What role should the church play now in the life of people who are just following? You know, people who are going to drugs. You once told me very correctly, a church is not a museum of saints, but it is a Hospital. Hospital for sinners. For sinners. That is it. So that should be the. I also told you these are all sick people who have these negative habits. The mental sickness. Hmm. It's a sick person. Hmm. They say in Tamil, "Bodha noyali." You know, "Bodha" means high. Hmm. Noyali means a sick person. But we should not treat them in a vague way and. Uh, Put that stigma on them and uh, isolate them. Hey, so, he's a drug addict. He's a so, what do you think will bring them close to Christ, and what do you think will help them to get out of it? What are some of the things that you'll say to us to help a person come out of it? Counseling. Counseling. Counseling is the only thing. Getting the reflections hmm. written down or uh, spoken, and then only you can counsel based on that angle. No, how to. Counsel this guy. Mm. How to counsel this girl? Mm. What is her weakness? What is her goal in life? We cannot change the past. Okay, it's all over. Mm. We have lost so many things. But start a new life. Certainly, so many people have done it. I know so many guys. There's a guy in Canada. I was telling you, he used to be chained because his brothers and sisters didn't want him to go back and back into that fixing and becoming a maniac, mad guy, bashing up people, spitting on people. He was a maniac. Today, he didn't have money that time for a baby. Today, he is wearing gold bracelets, four or five here. He owns a restaurant in Vancouver. Well, let's say if you are born again as a new creation, will you live your life differently from what? It you live? Certainly. As you grow older, so many things you learn and certain habits you kick off, leave it, take up. The main thing is there should be something for these people to do after they quit drugs. For them to pass their time, no. Simply if they sit alone at home unemployed, then again they will smoke. Or go to a friend who, that's what we say, beg. Give me something to smoke, give me a cigarette, give me a beer. They keep doing that. Mm. If they are employed only, they will develop self-esteem. For these kids and youngsters, the only way is total abstinence. Because once you get into it, getting out of it is very difficult. What is your habits way? are like getting into a soft bed. Once you get in, you cannot get out. Habits, good habits are very important. Character defect, we say in the program. Many youngsters have character defects. Okay, that like again, I can tell you that some of them get all this from their parents. Their father tells them, go buy me a bottle of alcohol. I don't know many guys, parents who've done that. They sit and drink together every day. It's one of my friends who was telling you is in uh, Kerpuram. His father and he drink together. So what do you do to this kind of thing? Parental pressure. Leave alone peer group pressure. Parental pressure. Mom smokes. You see it's a restaurant, so ladies are smoking. Then what will their daughter do? Definitely she will also do it. So do you think this, uh, this early childhood Christian education, teaching them scriptures, with a good family atmosphere and a good praying, church. kneeling down and praying. Will this all help in molding the Certainly. Okay. Certainly. Mm. Let go, let God. That's what the program also says. Let go of everything and let God take over your life. 
I heard you sing some beautiful choruses. You still remember these old uh, choruses? Yeah. When you're alone, do these choruses come back to your mind? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Is, is that... The more sober you become, ah. all these flashback keeps coming. Mm. Certainly, how we were and how we became and how we can change ourselves. See, the, the psalmist says, I long for you, O Lord, I thirst for you. Have you ever come to that place and Lord, I wish I go back to that place? Certainly. Mm. During mm. times of need, during times of stress, mm. during times of tension and you know, people get frustrated mm. and jump off in front of a train or bus or building or uh, commit suicide or uh, do something uh, rashly you know, because they don't want to live anymore mm. because there's no reason to live for it. Mm. As long as there's a want, there's a reason to live. Satisfaction is death. It's a Chinese proverb. Mm. Want me to repeat again? You know it. Mm. You see, so some desire should be there in you. I was telling you, there are chances that little later I may try to help <coughs> addicts recover. How mm. to go about it? See, they can't do it overnight. Okay? The only way is Taper it off. But most of the rehabs don't allow that. See, I'm coming to you. I drink uh, one full bottle a day. Uh, the rehab won't tell you, okay, tomorrow you have half a bottle. Day after tomorrow, have quarter bottle. Then later, have 60. Then have a small pack. And then give it up next month. No way. So, total abstinence. That's where the addicts suffer. Okay. I told you a guy swallowed blades in the rehab I was in. But I've heard, uh, Jay, so people say, I was an addict. I used to hit a bottle every day. But one day, Christ captured me. And that was the last. No more tapering drop. It was on the spot. These are God of miracles. It's possible. It's possible. Possible. Uh, uh, when you don't have God, you taper it off. When the Lord comes in, you give it up. Okay. Let go, let God. Okay. Take over. Only God can take over. So Jesus did so many miracles. Mm. With uh, five loaves, two fishes, he fed so many people. Mm. <coughs> so when you pray, you have to pray. Mm. You got to do some miracles. Mm. My name has Jesus and Judas in it. Uh, unfortunately, you're fortunate. Uh -huh. So sometimes I become Judas, sometimes I become Jesus. J E S U D A S O N. No. Which one do you long for? <laughs> Which one do you long for? Christ. Excellent. What is that one advice you will give to young people who are listening to you? Before it's too late, before you lose your parents, before you lose your career, your personality, take a U-turn, that's all. That's for you to decide. I'm old and if I keep talking to youngsters like you all, you always keep saying, you're not on my wavelength. We are doing it for fashion, we are doing it for passion. Because my friends are doing it, we are doing it. We are smoking to reduce ourselves. We are smoking to enjoy ourselves. If I don't uh, snort, I can't ride my bike at 120. I go at 60. So for, for something like, you know, the, when Johnson used to take steroids before he got caught running in the Olympic. You know, so the for performance uh, enhancement. Yes, sir, I've been listening to you. you See, ah, one sorry. guy told me, I can't speak English, sir. If I have a peg, I'll go have a peg and come and see what English I speak. See? So, that mood alteration, what they want. Okay. Okay, he's a nice friend of mine. He used to tell me. He used to tell him, I used to train him to speak good English. Because he was administrator. He comes from a political family from Chennai. He was telling, see? So, that's it. Okay. 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 Now, there's a girl. She was doing modeling. Why do all these models smoke that? A couple of years ago, the, all the celebrities were in a soup. Well, all of them are using weed. And some of them are higher quality drugs to shed their inhibitions. Right? See, just so uh, I've been hearing you. You've been singing some choruses. You've been reading the Bible. You know some such verses. Where will you put the emphasis? You've been saying program, 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 or 
will you give more emphasis on the person that is Jesus Christ the Lord for deliverance or the program for deliverance? You need both. Okay. Mm. You need both. Great. Mm. Jesus will definitely save you. Mm. He healed the leper. He can heal you mm. or me. But you have to go to him. He says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Mm. If you have the inclination all the time, allow me in. Mm. So the era has changed now. They are all into, uh, what do you call, mobile phones. They don't even watch TV. If I ask somebody, what's the news today? Uh, they'll say, I don't know. I'll check up from my mobile phone. They don't read newspapers. They don't watch TV. It's everything they walk about with their phone. Somebody snatches it and goes away. They cry for two days because they lost 10,000. Or they trip and fall somewhere. Or they meet with accidents. They just keep a phone with them. So that's their God now. So Jesus, are you, you are saying that you have a prayerful mother. Yeah. And that, even when I'm talking to you, you miss your parents now. Certainly. Yeah. I've been uh, watching that very closely and I can see it in your eyes and your emotions. And I know you have a deep desire to live differently. Sure thing. And I'm glad that the Lord has changed your direction. And I heard you say, I heard you say, leaving that place, leaving those people, and coming to a different place adds value. Absolutely. And the Lord is also needed. The Lord is the first. And then I need to also cooperate with God. Sure. To get out of it. Every day there's a verse. You know, like your battery is out bulged and there's no charge in your phone. You can't talk to anybody. Mm. Likewise, you know, the whole words of wisdom right. is there in the Bible, especially uh, Proverbs. I used to read a lot of the Bible. I memorized so many verses also. Psalm 77, verse 20, Thou leadest thy people like a flock by the hands of Moses and Aaron. See? Mm. There's so many things you used to do when you were a child. But there's no distraction. Mm. 